everyone how are y'all doing I just finished this journal it's a touch of spring journal and it's big I don't know how it got big I know I always say that <laughs> it is chipboard with the little bookends uh, antique doilies little vintage glove and some handmade flowers. And it's got one of these Tim Holtz um, thingamabobs. <laughs> and hopefully I can stay in frame. Oh, it is eight and a half by five and three fourth with a two and a half ish spine. It's not quite two and a half, but almost. Okay. So I made that look like a rain. <laughs> In case nobody notices. <laughs> oh, okay. So that just a bulldog clip. I don't know how it got so big. It started out as two signatures, then three, and then four. And I've counted it five times already, and I keep coming up with a different number. So the last count was 168. Front and back, um, not including the doilies and the envelopes that I have in here. I left this open in case you want to stick something in there. Okay, so let's get to it. I went ahead and crocheted this doily here and glued it for a little pocket. And I've got, um, what do you call it? You know, scrapbook cardstock paper with um, Tyvek and some muslin, you know, to secure the spine. And this kit is from Artie Mays. Again, it's called A Touch of Spring. And it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. So I did a copy stained papers. I've got a little bit of Lindy's. I've got a lot of distressed oxide inks. I did a lot of stenciling and stamping, and it looks pretty. <laughs> it's colorful. <laughs> so here we got two pockets. I don't know if you want me to. These are all, you know, medium weight cardstock. I got some lace. Look how pretty her design is, and I try to match the colors. And. Stenciling. We've got a tuck spot with a little cluster I made. And doily. We got some old paper. <laughs> Blue paper. This is from her kit. Oh, and I did stick something in it. Look at that. Something to write on. I'm gonna try to go fast because these are 160 something pages. <laughs> So, let's see, we got a tuck spot there, this is a tuck spot. What I did here, um, you can either have it folded out, you can glue the sides and make it a pocket, I wasn't sure, I left that up to you. And from here I used some doilies, I want to coffee stain them, and I try not to cover them up. <laughs> And then here we have a tuck spot. And here we have a little rose charm. Now that I know how to do these, I'm doing them all the time. So it's just a writing space. And this is from her kit. Nice writing paper. Oops. So it's just a lot of color, a lot of spring colors. Stencil the butterflies. And the roses, and a little tuck spot. Look how pretty this thing is. So here's a tuck spot. Here's a tuck spot. Here is a little tuck spot. A little something to write on. And here's a little pocket. Some butterflies. Here is a pull-out to write on. We have another tuck spot. 
Put a little tag in it. You got a little tuck spot here, and you got a tuck spot back there. Look at that. Okay, so gorgeous. <laughs> Writing space, and I did gesso also. So I believe these came with the kit. That's cute. I cut the little butterflies out here, and I, I glued them up there because they're flying away. <laughs> Here's a little bitty envelope to write on. Let's see. Here's a little tuck spot. Some more colorful pages to write on. Now, eek. this is a pocket. And I just kind of stuck this in there. You can put your own letters in. And I curled the ends. Okay, that's just some decoupage, not decoupage, collage. I had the age, right? <laughs> okay, so here's an envelope that I went ahead and uh, decoupaged with um, napkins. And here's one of, her, oh, one of her little postcards. And I did a video for this. So this pops out, and you've got writing space. Then you've got tuck here, and you've got a beautiful card there. Isn't that cute? Not my idea. <laughs> it was not my idea, but I did it. Little dragonfly. Little tuck spot. And here we have a tuck spot, tuck spot, tuck spot. And these flip open for you to put your goodies in. And I'll close that back in a minute. Look how pretty her digital kit is. It's so pretty. And this is just a tag I made. It's on the back. Okay, coffee paper. Coffee copy paper. Yeah, I struggle with that for some reason. <laughs> I found an ink pad that had like three colors in it, so I did a little fancy shading. That was fun. And then I just cut, you know, some spots off to make it look pretty. Here's another belly band. Another envelope. And this is one of her cards. So pretty. I love that bunny. And here, a little blessing bag with a little postcard. And here's a page from an old magazine. Some writing paper, a little flower I made. made a pocket here for you to put things in and this is her beautiful paper so here's just one of those little whatever you call them <laughs> here's a little tuck spot here's a little bag here's a little tuck spot and here's another little tag and another little tuck spot I did some neck and the claws there, and I've got another envelope on this side. Envelope, oh, it's a pocket, silly. Okay, and then I've got these wooden butterfly buttons, and this is another pocket, and an envelope, and a stamp. I was saving my stamps when I was doing ATC trading because I was trading all over the world, it was so fun. A little writing paper. I knew one day I would use them. So, there's that. Another 
This is from her kit. I didn't put anything in the little envelope there. Are these pockets or envelopes? It's a coin envelope, right? <laughs> no dragonfly. I love the way things smoosh when, you, when I do that. It gets such a cool look. Oh, and here was a thing. Ta-da! I was inspired by Cindy MacDonald. Oh, she posted on Artie Mays, and so I, that was her idea. This is just a sorry silk and it opens and it opens and it flips down. So you got little tuck spots here and here. And I'll tie you back up in a minute. And some more stenciling. Little tuck spot. More beautiful pages. Now this one, oh my goodness, a tag here that I made. I finally tried my little cutout. Wasn't sure how to make, use it. <laughs> well, I just gave it a try. You got a tuck spot there. You got a big tuck spot here. <laughs> you got a tag here. And you've got a tag here. So lots of little hiding spaces. <laughs> okay, it's a little tuck spot. And there's that tape that I aged. And some doily. You can barely. Now, this I used the stencil when I coffee dyed it. It's really faint. Got your Edith Holden pages. And this is a little flip out. And one of her cards. Baggy, with another one of her cards. And here's another page. I gave you the option of whether you want to glue that down to make a pocket or just a flip out. And here is a little belly band with her little tickets. And that was a little tag I made. And one of her cards. There's a little pocket. Pink is the theme here. Can you tell? <laughs> and this is a little envelope. Put some goodies in. There we go. Another one of those wooden buttons. This is so pretty. I didn't want to cover them up. What have we got here? Another little pocket. And this is like a tag. Little tag writing space and another one of her pretty cards. Writing space. Another one of her pockets and one of her cards. And give it in. And another one of her tags with a little tuck spot. Green on this page. <laughs> Color coordinated. <laughs> Okay, this can be used as a tuck spot, and you can put it wherever you like it, because it's just with the paper clip. Now this, you have a tuck back here, and you have a flip up, and you got a little tuck spot there, Then you have writing space there. Okay, oh, last one, are y'all still with me? <laughs> Okay, another little tag I made, one of her cards, and a little collage. And a little um, saying, nature is full of genius, full of divinity, so that naughty snowflake escapes his fashioning hand. Henry David Thoreau. And this is just another envelope with some writing paper in it, like the last one, and a little embellishment with the button. And here's a little postcard. And this glassine bag, I ran it through the printer, so it's got a little bit of design on it. My printer doesn't like them, though. <laughs> another little tuck spot. 
And this is a little flip out. So you've got two pockets and you got writing space. And that also is a real stamp. <laughs> so you have tuck spot there and tuck spot here. Another one of those flip slash could be pockets. And another little cluster tuck. Don't try to say that three times. That's so pretty. And <laughs> I didn't hear the ba bump bump. followed Andrea's tutorial for the two pockets. So we got it's a layered pocket, cheesecloth and all that good stuff. And then I just made that doily today too. And that could be used as a little pocket back there. So there it is. Were y'all counting? Was that 160 something pages? Because first time I came up with like 256. <laughs> But that was counting the envelopes and the doilies. So I love this fabric. I'm so glad that I found it in my stash. And it was just perfect for using with uh, Artie Mays' kit. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it gives you some ideas of what to do and use and make in your journal. And I will see you when I have enough strength to do the next one. <laughs> Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.